Welcome back. We are back. We are officially back with another computer video. Mm, mm, mm. This whole channel is about a lifestyle. It's not about a particular thing. It's about a lifestyle. It's a whole lifestyle. It's our lifestyle. It's not just my channel. It's your channel too. I had a video comment on this particular video that I did, uh, which is my Asus gaming router. Mm, let me just say this particular model, everybody's got their own opinions, man. Everybody's got their opinions. You can go to Amazon right now and you can get it for $350 or you can go to eBay and get it for $100. And that's exactly what I did. Let me get to my son. What's up? So I had a comment from this gentleman and I'm going to pull this comment up here. PR Dragon. All right. So this is what he said to me. I want to know how can I reduce the ping with that router? Okay. So he wants to know how he can reduce his ping with this particular router. First and foremost, that's a good comment. That's a very good comment to kind of sum this up to you guys. Short and sweet, short and sweet. Here we go. High pings basically equal to lag. All right. So we all experienced it before. Um, either it was on a console or some sort of computer system, uh, laptop or a gaming rig. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. 75% of everybody that's actually gaming on a desktop computer has first game on a console and then they went to a console to a laptop then they went from a laptop to an actual desktop i'm 75 percent sure 75 percent sure that you guys have which you know we've experienced and like and on console we are definitely experienced it on laptop and you know we have also hidden here and there experienced it on um pc laptop gaming the games nowadays they're being uh they're being they're being uh they're being updated to some some good stuff which is basically killing your uh possibility of successfully gaming on laptop basically more more updates to games more enhancements more redesign means more hardware demand network demand and not all laptops nowadays are made for that yes you can get a gaming rig laptop but the thing about gaming rig laptops and i was i was almost almost there with getting a gaming rig laptop i mean they got some good ones they got some good ones out there trust and believe me those drinks man oh lord they cost money but the thing that i don't like about gaming rig laptops is that you're still limited to the hardware you are still limited to the hardware you can't really build like that and if you build, you, you have to build with the manufacturer parts. You can't just go to Amazon website or eBay's website uh, uh, or, or go to your local computer hardware store and just be like, look, I want to, uh, I got this gaming uh, laptop and I'm going to update uh, my CPU. Uh, let me see what you got on sale. Yeah, I'll take that one. No, you can't do that. You have to literally go to the manufacturer website and, and find out exactly if that CPU is upgradable or even GPU, the video card, is upgradable, which is a pain. So I'm just like, look, why pay fifteen to $2,000 for a gaming laptop where you can barely upgrade it? It just doesn't make sense. Now, it makes sense in the, in the aspect of... of Say for instance, you have limited space. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Especially college. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't really have space for a desktop. Got it. Totally got it. Totally got it. Uh, uh, up in a hotel. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Most definitely. Most definitely. Totally understand that. Traveling. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely understand it. But at home, mm, mm. No sorry. Gaming computer. It is. Gaming computer. It is. Okay. But for those that are out there that have a laptop, do not lose faith somewhere at the middle or at the end of this video we're gonna try to do some settings and you know i'll just say just shoot for it shoot for it and see if it will help you out okay furthermore let's go to computers desktop computers i'm telling you desktop computers is the perfect thing that you want to do when it comes to gaming perfect thing that you want to do and let's just say for instance all right there's this computer right here this is a custom built computer that i built all right um it is not it doesn't have the latest and greatest computer hardware. I'm still running AMD FX 8350, eight core processor, still running. I'm running roughly 30 gigs of memory, probably like five solid state drives up in this bad boy. And I'm running a um, historic uh, <laughs> 
video card. Golly, what, what video card is that? Man, it's been so long. Right click taskbar, go to task manager, bring this bad boy over here. Bam. All right, so this is the CPU that I'm using, AMD FX8350. I have four cores and eight logical processors. Now, as I stated before, I got multiple uh, solid state drives as well as a hard drive and USB drive. Uh, basically, my computer primary drive, the C drive is solid state. And far as like when the games are installed, they're installed on solid state drives. It's the best thing that you ever want to do if you want to increase your game uh frames per second as well as address the issue with what 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 why are we here why are we here we are here because you guys would also figure out a way to get rid of pinks so yes computer hardware does matter all right no you don't need to have the latest and greatest stuff to avoid high pinks you just need to have some decent Come on now. And the reason why I say that is because in a professional world where I work in a professional world, I'm a professional IT, okay? So I can explain this to you guys. In a professional world when you need to have servers, servers are typically, let's just say, they're spec'd out for a six to eight year replacement. So check this out. Manufacturers typically enhance their computer hardware probably once a year or so, all right? So you got that in your head servers at businesses you know they're usually spec'd out to be replaced after six to eight years eight years tops okay because you know there might be some sort of, some sort of finance issue going on that you have to you know get the right budget or they may not need it but they may replace it just because of warranty reasons okay now with that in mind that servers aren't replaced every year because if it was man talk about a system downtime just imagine microsoft taking off offline their um online gaming network or P playstation doing that because they got to replace the service every year dude customers will be will, will be hating that but you know first and foremost i'm pretty sure microsoft and sony have failover servers but i'm not trying to get over the head with, with you guys with this technical information but either way this build right here is okay. It's okay because it works. Understand, if you have something and it works, it works, okay? There's no need for you to go broke just to upgrade to something else just because a manufacturer put out another part. Because as I stated before, servers are not replaced every year. They're replaced within that life cycle, which the life cycle for service is six to eight years, okay? So the life cycle for my gamer rig it follows the same thing, six to eight years, all right? Going back to this video. So we have a old AMD CPU, works perfectly fine, all right? So although my memory is displaying 16 here, 18 here, it technically has 30, which can be seen if if, if the, the memory demand goes up, it'll, it'll start displaying. So it's just a typical Windows 10 display thing so so the gpu that i was referring to the historical gpu is this is the amd r9 390 which is the 8 gigs memory which can be basically overclocked to 16 again my whole point of showing you guys my hardware specs is because i'm going to do a speed test after this so you guys can see what i'm up against right now and you can kind of see like ooh, that looks good and then you can kind of compare it to what you have to kind of see that all respects, it does matter, okay? It does matter, but I'm not saying you what you need to do is upgrade to the latest and greatest that's out there that's super, super expensive. No, you just need to upgrade from the level where you're currently at. Say for instance, if I had four gigs of memory, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna upscale uh, what I can afford, okay? If I can afford, upscaling to at least i would say aim for 16 if you can afford more aim for 24 or 32 all right which memory will help definitely cpu will help okay so say for instance i had a six core processor i'm going to update to a core that will basically provide a little bit more a little bit more boost because it, it matters so when it comes to the hard drive, what I will also consider is updating from a 
hard drive, which is basically your standard SATA hard drive, to a solid state drive, okay? Now that solid state drive is gonna, mm, gonna give you that kick, baby, all right? So you definitely want that. And um, also to note, pay attention to your read and write speed uh, on a hard drive. It should state exactly what the read and write speed is. So on this Western Digital Blue solid state drive, nothing particular um, fancy nothing fancy uh they do have different models out there like one for gaming and other stuff like that but this one was on sale so i got it and it works the read speed is 560 megabytes per second and the write speed is 530 okay so with the hard drive that you had seen before it was basically going at i want to say 60 60 to 100 megabytes per second so it was slow doggone slow all right and I definitely noticed um, I did have some high pings uh, when I was playing 5M. And I can definitely tell when I'm moving around, I had lag. So updating from a hard drive to a solid state drive and updating other hardware components definitely has helped. All right, so let's get off of that. That's computer hardware. So yes, indeed, consider updating your computer hardware. That will help. Now, let's get back to the actual router. Routers is definitely a must look at. You need to review your network configuration. So, first and foremost, do not game on wireless. Do not. Do not game on wireless. Now, can you do it? Yes. Are you going to have latency? Yes. However, it's just far much more convenient when you game with a hardwired connection okay um, if you have to game on wireless get yourself a good gaming wireless router okay a router that is called <laughs> a legitimate gaming router okay so like this one this asus router it has some settings for gaming all right if you cannot afford a router that you know is supposed to be modeled for uh, gaming at least get you something that's somewhat somewhat there okay some something that good for streaming okay all right because streaming somewhat similar to game all right another thing to note um, we all do start off with this we tend to like when we first start gaming we'll have our you know our console or gaming rig you know such as a desktop computer connected to our isp router which isp is internet service provider such as i have horizon if i had my computer my gaming rig computer connected to the actual horizon router i'm going to get high pings typically uh, isp routers are really made for home use okay yeah some of them do have some functionality that will come kind of give you a boost for um you know media streaming because you know basically that's what you do at home you watch netflix youtube and you chill get yourself a secondary router okay you got your isp you got your secondary which my secondary is the asus gamer router get yourself a secondary router for gaming for your console for your laptop to connect to for your gaming desktop to connect to it's not just with gaming that i noticed the issue sometimes i work from home of which in my line of work i have to look at a lot of just say imaging so i need a connectivity uh, a nice high-end connectivity for it. I'm not going to say super high-end, but, you know, something that's decent. When I had my work laptop connected to my ISP router, mm, it was definitely some high pings and uh, some latency um, when it comes to streaming. So I was just like, Ugh, I need to upgrade. So that's what I did. So, again, we all start off with that, you know, utilizing the ISP router. Let's just say, you know, although the ISP uh, may give you, like, a good fast connection that doesn't necessarily mean that that router can handle the demand of multiple devices because what people tend to, f to not understand is that a router is also a system it also has memory it also has a cpu so it needs to be able to have enough hardware resources to handle such you know as many network demands okay um, which is why I actually purchased this particular Asus router because it had some nice, decent hardware. Now there's 
some newer models, which, you know, there's always something that's better than what you have. Understand that we all know that. So yes, there's a improved Asus router. Uh, am I going to get it? Mm, not really, because again, this works for me. If you, if you definitely want to shoot your shot with your boy, you want to support the channel, go to this website, a word from Mr. Jones, Dot com that's where all my merch is going to be listed right now we just have a whole bunch of merch which is basically right now it's just you know woman stuff but eventually i'm going to start designing some stuff for men so it will be here and it's a word from mr jones dot com and that's how you can access my store and the beautiful thing about purchasing merch is because not only are you supporting the particular youtuber but you're also getting something in return you know it's not just like you know cash app or paypal when you actually send money and all right you know i send the money see you guys no it's like you purchase a merchandise so you get something in return to cherish and yet you also do a good deed because you're helping out that particular youtube which as i always say you know a good deed is never unnoticed. So if you're trying to be a blessing and get blessed back, purchase some merchandise. We've all done this before, which is basically we utilize our ISP router for gaming. So, you know, eventually when you get some money, get yourself a nice, respectable router. So as I stated before, my particular router, okay, it has this nice interface here and also has this nice cool feature which is called game acceleration so with the game acceleration we click on game accelerator we can basically turn this on and it's going to prioritize devices that are associated with gaming traffic is basically going to be like all right we're going to shoot the gaming traffic out and all your other devices that are streaming and um just people just you know browsing the internet for personal reasons we're gonna kind of put you guys at the back end so that way we can ensure that the gaming traffic is always sent out first all right so that way you know you can help lower those pings so if you're going to enable this just monitor your router just to fill it out see how it's doing so that's another thing that it takes us to is router firmware always ensure that your router firmware is at least up to date to the latest and greatest okay the reason why i say that is because definitely with asus and the reason why I, another reason why i got asus is because asus is absolutely amazing when it comes to keeping that routers up to date as far as security risk are concerned so i had another asus router it's a rt something but like that's what I first started off with, and that was actually a coworker that basically brought me to the world of Asus. My uh, good coworker and friend Munde, he basically brought me to utilizing uh, Asus router because I used to use. I went from a D Link. I've had issues with that router, so then that's when I went to Asus, and I loved it. But then I had more devices, and then that's when I upgraded to this particular Asus router, and I love it. Um, I run the latest and greatest firmware on this particular router. You can see the firmware that I'm currently running right now. And the best way to keep yourself up to date on firmware is just basically going to the actual manufacturer's website. And what we're gonna do is click support. And then from support, we click driver. And then from driver, we go to firmware and then bam. As you can see, this is the latest and greatest. Let's show all downloads. So this is, let's see. Man, they got a lot on here. Golly, I like that. But anyway, um, so at the time when I got the router, I want to say I went to this version, then to this version, and then that's when I seen this in beta. So I went to that version, and then I finally went to this version. So, you know, it they show some description of what the firmware has helped improve it's it's definitely recommended um, but if you're doing so be mindful to not you know have you know somebody doing something that's important 
um, such as you know schoolwork or something like that because the router is going to basically uh, restart and you will lose connectivity for a certain amount of time router plays a big role in lowering your pings the better your router is as far as the router hardware uh, the less high pings you'll have um, all right so we're not really going to dig too deep with routers but you know that's just a good tip right there all right so the next thing we're going to do is look at some settings that you can uh, check out on your computer to see if it will help now before i even modify any type of setting okay we're going to basically perform a speed test so you guys can see what i'm up against <laughs> i wouldn't say i'm up against anything but you know what i'm working with So with my particular ISP, I'm getting, uh, well, with my particular ISP, I am working with a 100 up, 100 down. Now this test does depend on the server that I'm basically connected to. Sometimes I get a good whoop connection and then sometimes it goes, nah. It all depends because this is also going to an, another network, okay? So as you can see, 108, 117, we can try it again. So now that went to 107. Again, it all depends on the traffic of your network, their network, okay? So even if you have the best high-end computer, the best high-end network, you're still communicating to other networks. You know, I can have a high-end computer and high-end network, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the game that I'm playing, I'm gonna have super duper low pings. I can still have high pings because they may, that game, maybe on a network or server that's just being taxed on hallway resources. Another thing that I want to throw in there is always ensure that your computer is always up to date on one of those updates. All right. You want to make sure everything <laughs> receives an update if possible. Okay. So to accomplish that, you basically click on start. Then you go to settings from settings. What we're going to do is we're going to select update and security and we're going to go ahead and check for some updates oh look at that so we do have a major update which is an update to windows 10 so we'll definitely have to knock that one out so you can update your graphics computer graphics from uh the windows updates however it doesn't always give you the latest and greatest when it comes to video card drivers so you know if you have a actual video card tool such as AMD, if they have that Radeon software, and I'm pretty sure um, NVIDIA and some other uh, video cards, they also have their own control panel software for their video card. But basically, what you want to do is you want to check under, you know, where the settings or home is for AMD, uh, Radeon, it's home, and then you look under driver and software, and basically you'll see... Uh, where it basically shows you your current version and the latest and greatest so you do want to click on download and update that bad boy again when it comes to gaming it's not just about network connection it is about your computer hardware components okay so if i have poor computer hardware components but a good uh network connection i'm still going to see some high pings okay still going to see it the ethernet connection has to do more to make up for the lack of computer components okay so what i'm gonna do is go ahead and proceed with the install so we're gonna go ahead and install again as i stated before you do not need to have the most high and latest and greatest hardware 
you just have to have something that is workable. So the download finish, to kind of rebuttal my statement, uh, you really don't need to have a high-end um, computer system with like the latest and greatest high-end hardware. Uh, you just need something that works for you. What you always want to do when it comes to any type of game is look at the game. Uh, basically, like for Grand Theft Auto, what I'm going to do is look online like, okay, Grand Theft Auto hardware requirements. Okay, cool. Uh, Apex hardware requirements. Okay, cool. Call of Duty. Okay, cool. American Truck Simulator. Okay, cool. However, don't build your computer system based off of what the game says. Like, okay, this is what you need. What you want to do is build it for growth. So, say for instance, Apex says it needs 4 gigs for um, video card memory and let's say 8 gigs for the computer memory. What I would do is for my video card, instead of getting a 4 gig video card, I have the budget. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it a step up and I'm going to get a 6 gig or 8 gig video card. Now, for computer memory, say for instance, the game says, hey, you need 6 or 8 gigs. I'm going to probably bump it up to 16. Okay, so always do your computer build for growth, but it doesn't have to be super in hardware components. That's going to basically uh, cost you some, some, some good money. Updated our video card driver. And what I'm going to do is try to shorten up this video because it is long. It is a long video. I meant to make this to be at least 10 minutes, but golly. I basically wrote down some notes here of settings that you want to change far as your nick so i'm gonna maximize this so you guys can actually see it and what you can do is basically you can pause this video and you can open up your nick and you can basically follow the steps basically the default setting is what's currently there and the modify setting is what you want to change it this may come at a cost to your computer hardware so you know what you can do first is just right click on your taskbar go to tax manager and look at your computer performance here just monitor it and see if you know stuff starts spiking up like your cpu memory or video card just monitor it as you make the changes to your nick let me scroll down so you guys can see the other part of the page again you can pause it make note of it there's final settings there. Now, what's in yellow is basically for um, Intel processors only. Every computer may have something different, okay? All right, so I'm gonna minimize this. We're gonna right click on start. We're going to go to our device manager and from our device manager. So network adapter and we got, this is my network adapter, it's a killer. 82200 gigabyte ethernet controller so i'm gonna right click and go to properties now by default what you're going to see is that the power management is on come on now this is a gaming rig we don't have, need nothing to do with saving power okay so we're gonna uncheck that uncheck that now what we're gonna do is go to the advanced tab now this is where we pull up that document document up do it like this. Move that document here. Now what I'm also going to do is on my other screen, what I'm going to do is look at the performance. Actually, I might be able to do it like this so you guys can kind of see it too. All right, so what we're gonna do for ARP, we're gonna basically disable uh, ECMA. We're going to leave that as is. All right, enable PME, that's for Intel only. Energy efficient, we're going to disable. That's already disabled. Okay, flow control, uh, that's disabled. What we need to do is disable it. You know what, what I should have done Hold on, let me update this. Because I definitely uh, mistyped. Now, the reason why I have it written on paper, or you can say in Word, 
is you know just in case something happens um, we can always reset the settings all right so flow control we're going to basically go to disable all right interrupt we're going to disable that again majority of these settings um, it will impact your hardware if you have a low-end computer all right so we did interrupt do, 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 do. so for the checksum we're going to disable that uh, the jumbo frame no change all right so we got it offload it's enabled so we're going to disable that all right so this one it looks like basically for all of them, the offload disable yep disable disable all right so now we're moving on to the max no change all right so for this i'm, I'm not, there's no change for that one network address no change all right and that's offload we're going to disable receive buffers i'm right, gonna skip past this because this is for uh intel only so receive buffers uh, we're gonna bump this up to 2048. All right, so we can skip this, but we definitely need to do this right here. Oh, that's no change. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Shut down. Wake up. Shut it down. Wake it up. Shut it down. Wake it up. Hey. All right. So for shut down. Wake up not gonna mess with that speed and duplex i said that's for auto even though i'm getting getting a gig connection it doesn't say a gig here but i am getting a gig connection so as you can see speed is one gig so just leave that as auto okay so this one it is no change because that's disabled all right, we got the checksum. Let's disable, disable. Okay. Disable, disable. All right, so transmit buffers. Okay. So it says. Okay, so that's the highest. It's 1024. So we'll, we'll leave it at that 1024. So that's the highest it can go. So more checksum. Disable. Disable VLAN ID. All right, so there's no change in that. Wake magic disable and then wake on pattern disable. All right, so now we're gonna hit OK and it should drop our connection. All right, so it just dropped our connection and then it should reload. All right, so now it's reloading. So I'm gonna right click on it again. I'm gonna do change adapter options. And I just wanna see if we still have that gig connection. So right click and select status. And we do still have that gig connection. And we still have internet access, so good. Now, furthermore, let's look at our hardware resources. Uh, we still have low CPU utilization, uh, memory, it's at 41 percent ethernet did jump some but that could have been you know when it was rebooting a gpu is fine so everything seems fine so now what we're going to do is do a speed test all right so the ping went up to 17. What was it 17 before i don't know <laughs> i'm tired I, I can't even remember but i could definitely tell you that the download was quicker. All right. Let's check out upload. See what's going on. Again, it also depends on uh, the network. Okay, the network that we're communicating to. All right. So that's at one seventeen, and I and I can kind of show you that. I can't remember the, the actual site, but there's another one that you can actually. It's a bit different. It's definitely a bit different. It's 
they must got a lot going on. So as you can see, upload was horrible. But let that be an example to tell you guys that even if you have a nice high-end computer, decent network, if that server that you're communicating to is getting hammered because of some network traffic, speed is, is definitely not going to look too good. That was a good test, though. That was a really a good test. So now we can go back to here and show you guys something different. All right, so now my ping went down. Went down to 16. Now, mind you, I do have a lot of stuff still open. So my computer, not just that, I do have other devices on my network that, you know, that stream and download and upload. Now, remember, for, what was it, upload, we had like 30, the other particular server and network. So you guys kind of, you kind of get where I'm coming from. So, uh, yeah, we will conclude our test. So what's going on everyone? So I just want to do a quick test to kind of show you guys that with my setup and my obsolete or prehistoric, well I wouldn't even say prehistoric, it's historic uh, <laughs> computer setup. Everything's working fine. Everything is working fine. We are in our Nissan 380SX. Now to Americans, this will be the 300. Uh, I mean, this would be the Nissan 280SX. This thing is gorgeous. Well designed. Absolutely wonderful. What I need to do is get it ready so that way we can do some drifting. save this is more than likely the bottom out yep it's bottom out already see yeah it's just bottom out See if I can fix this up real quick. Because I, I honestly don't understand why it reset. Uh, you know what? Let's just do this. Let's go to that. Okay. Now let's go to. So let's just make a quick change. But. Let's see if it's going to save. Yeah, it's much better. Still, still a little bit bottoming out on the front, but 
far much better than what we had before. Oh yeah. Eat it, boy. Eat it. Eat it. You're not too good. Dang, I think you need to go back to good old American muscle. Look like you do better in a straight line with you a super... See how this person? It looks like they might have a little bit high pink. Unless they have uh, no clip, because no clip will also do that too. <laughs> Where did that uh, hummer come out? Came out of nowhere. But alright guys, uh, let's see what we're looking at. We're looking at 9 minutes already, so I know you guys have been watching this video way too long, so I'll well, have to end the video. Uh, but uh, yeah guys, hopefully uh, some of the information in this video is helpful to you guys. Hopefully you'll be able to kind of decipher where you need to be in investigating to address your issue with the high pain. Um, you know, check your network, check your computer hardware, and just pretty much go from there. Uh, that should lead you to the right direction. So, trust me, it's high ping is, is definitely something that you can cure. You can, you can resolve, you can find a resolution. Um, it just takes time, you know, time and it does involve money because you may have to upgrade your computer hardware or buy a decent router. But uh, that definitely should get you, get you, get you, get you done. Um, again, don't forget guys to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and uh, if there's anything else that you would like to see um, any type of video that you want me to cover just let your boy know and I'll work with you so on that note guys peace